हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ माय सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डे ऑफ टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी वन ग्रेट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ऑटो फिट हाउ टू मेक आवर पेजेस रिस्पॉन्सिव विद दिस प्रॉपर्टी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी दैट थिंग सो लेट अस गेट स्टार्ट इट सो या राइट नाउ आई विल ओपन माई वी एस कोड एंड आई विल ट्राई टू कोड आउट समथिंग विच विल बेस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक so yeah so first of all i have opened my html template and in template i am going to title it as auto fit our title name and after that in body in body section i am going to take one div and inside that div let me just take div with class name box and i want box do box and i want it let's say 12 times and i'm just entering it and i i am also like importing some content inside that okay i will just write it down here item i want inside that and for the external div i will just name it as container and after this in my style section again i am going to write this Hashtag container, and I want it to have a display property of grid. So you might be aware about what grid is. So grid is basically used to show our cards in two dimensions. So for that only we use grid basically. And yeah, so I want my grid to justify its content to the center, and along with that, ah uh, yeah. I also want my grid to have a gap of let's say two pixel, and after that for boxes, for each box I want it to have a border of one pixel solid, let's say black. Yes, black will be fine, and along with black color I want each box to have a background color of, let's say this bisque color. and i will just do one thing i will make this as display flex and justify content to center and align items to center so i am doing this three things just to make my content this content item inside my box to the center so let's see first of all how it is looking like so right now it is fine i guess it is looking fine first of all so it is just showing items and we haven't it specifies the thing like this okay let me just save this without okay so right now it is like looking fine so my item is coming to center and uh my each div my each box is acquiring the whole page whole page space okay so first of all what i can do let's say i want it to have a grid template columns of 120 pixels each see so right now it will look like something this something like this okay so i just want this content to be at the center so for that for that we have the simple property that is justify content to center so justify content i will make it at center yeah it's looking fine but right now when like at this point if i inspect this particular page and and let's say okay let's see see right now it is not visible whenever i am let's say first of all we do we will do one thing i will make my inspect to the this side okay so right now you are able to see that my content my content is not properly visible whenever my this response size is yeah 100% see so that's the problem with uh without using if if we are doing this content without using auto fit so in that case this problem will arise so how to overcome this problem and let's say if you want to make our page our grid responsive according to the screen size so in that case what we can do either we can use the media queries or we can use the auto fit properties so how to use this auto fit fit properties so let's say first of all uh i will do one thing i will just comment out this second line and grid 
template columns let's say if we are using the repeat property so what repeat property will do let's say see first of all let me show you a simple thing first of all let's say i am using this 200 200 pixel and comma oh instead of 200 pixel i will use 3 comma 1 fr okay so let us see how how does it look like look like so right now it is looking like this my each row is getting three three items okay so uh, it, it is coming just because we have passed here three and one fr okay so let's say if i passed here four comma one fr so in that case it will look like this so four items will come in each row okay so now what i want see here is the problem if i make this content like if let's say if i'm i'm inspecting this see whenever i am going lesser and lesser in my inspect section my grid will not shrink it will remain the uh, like the four column will pre-exist in the inspect section okay so i can do one thing right now uh let's say i uh if, if i'm using media queries then i can change this template grid template columns on the on the basis of my screen size let's say on on like middle screen size i want like it i want it to show three columns on in each row on mobile screen size i want it to show two columns in each row but right now it is not working in that way so for that what we can use is our property that is auto fit so let's say i am using this auto fit property and i am giving a mix min max of let's say for example i am giving a mean of uh, 1 1 112 pixel and a max of let's say 1 fr okay so maximum i didn't care i don't care about maximum so what does this auto fit do this auto fit will make our page like our grid responds to according to our screen size so how will it how it will work right now see first of all let's say i have this this screen size so in this screen size i am able to append my all items okay so like the width of each item is 112 pixel in this case the minimum width okay so as i am going down see As you can see that my each and every item is getting fitted in the screen size as and when I'm going down see so that's the property that's the auto fit property let's say instead of this uh, one FR if I had given here 30 pixel let us see how it will look like see for 30 pixel it will look like this only got it and if 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 i had used let's say to uh let's say 70 no not 70 40 pixel i'm using i'm trying to show you by using minimum minimum of the length see for 40 pixel it is showing like this so 40 pixel 40 pixel of width for of each item see as soon as i decrease this it will shrink okay so in this particular way we can use this auto fit property to make our pages response you otherwise if you want to like otherwise if you want your content to come in, in to come inside the see as soon as i'm decreasing the this length my content is getting fitted but let's say if i want my content to add below this so first of all let's say right now here are uh, 6 and 6 12 items so for example if i am adding two more items here see one item two items so right now there are 14 uh 14 dues inside this container so if i go down to here you can see this six and six and the remaining two are getting a line below them so this page is completely responsive now but if you want to make your items to align at the center then you you need to use your special separate css pro properties for that or you might use the media queries for that okay so that's the thing so in this way this auto fit property works so i hope you guys have got the idea how to perform this responsive web pages with the help of these auto properties auto fit properties and yes i will see you in next video guys 
Until then, if you haven't checked out our web development playlist, then please do check it out. And if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe to the channel and share this content with your needy friends. I will see you in next video. Until then, bye bye guys.